Kenna Jates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're joined with TJ Akima who's going to be fighting this Friday in Maui's Just Scrap. So TJ, talk a little bit about who you're going to be fighting and what you know about that person. I'm um, fighting Andrew Sanchez out of Hilo. Uh, all I know is he fight out of um, Rockstar MMA. Uh, I don't really know too much. I heard he's on stand-up guy. But, yeah. And, That's all I know about him. And talk a little bit about your preparations for this fight and who's been helping you train. Uh, we got the whole team. We got uh, Bone Polly, Gerald Castaneda, uh, V-Man, Luis Pico, Buji, and our Jiu-Jitsu coach, and Andy. Uh, we just... Working everything right now, standing up, ground, we do planning fishing. <laughs> and then for people who might not be too familiar with you, um, what's your record? Uh, how many uh, fight MMA fights have you been in? I get two, um, one win, one loss. And how excited are you to be fighting in Maui again? Very excited, couldn't ask for anything better. Well, thank you for your time. In closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that might be watching this? Any shout-outs or anything at all? I uh, just like to thank everybody, thank the Lord, the coaches for everything they do, my teammates, and for the promotion, and for the support. Uh, I'm going to be fighting uh, Tyler Leopardino. Um I don't really know anything about him. I just know he's, uh, he's tough and, yeah, I'm a big island. Now for you, this was a kind of a last minute fight. Um, when did you first uh, find out that you were going to be fighting? Uh, this is last week. And and what were your thoughts when you first found out that you were going to be fighting on short notice? How was that? And and what were your thoughts when you found out that you were going to be fighting on uh, such short notice? I was pretty excited, uh, confident in my uh, my my training partners that I'm with and my coaches. That's helping me out to get ready for this fight. Uh, yeah, it's been small guys still keeping in action and stuff. Now, for people who might not be too familiar with you, um, what is your MMA record? Uh, I'm 0 and 1. And uh, and how excited are you to also be fighting? Uh, you know, in your hometown Maui. Oh, very excited! Very excited! Very excited! Now, because this fight was uh, on short notice, did you have ample enough time to, you know, to train and to prepare for this fight? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Uh, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that might be watching this? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to um, thank, uh, thank God. Uh, thank my family for letting me um, get ready for this uh, fight last minute. Kind of. Thank my coaches that have been um, helping me. Uh, prepare for this, uh, coaches from uh, Hustle and Show and um, Horizon Mutai, and also my teammates. We're joined with Gerald Castaneda, uh, who's also going to be fighting this Friday in Maui. Gerald, who are you going to be fighting? Uh, fighting Ron Manel from uh, Big Island, from Kona. And what do you know about him as far as a, a fighter and what he brings to the table as a fighter? Uh, can, you, can you repeat that again? Please? And what do you know about him as a fighter and what he brings to the table as a fighter? I know he's a stand up guy. He likes to move a lot. So I've been working my cardio, you know, for my boys, uh, Connie and Junior, and a bunch of those, and working my stand up with my Muay Thai coach, Brian, at Horizon Muay Thai, and I'm familiar with Hustle and Troll. Now, for you, there's a lot on the line for this fight. Uh, I believe the winner is going to have a, a shot at uh, Rico Abodilla and the interim title. Is that true? Yeah. This is going to be for the interim title. And whoever wins this, this fight is fighting him for the state, the state title. Now, because of all this, you know, because of the titles involved, does that bring on any added pressure on you, you know, to have a great performance and get the win? Yeah, no. Uh, not really too much pressure. It's just, it's just another fight for me. You know, train my ass off. We just do all, all the same thing. The there's gonna be a lot of reward, you know, if I win. But then, you know, just work work harder than usual. And because there's gonna be so much of your teammates fighting uh, on the same card as you, does it make it a little bit easier on you? Yeah, it's easier because we, we're pushing each other, you know. There's there's always someone there to train with. Yeah, we're just pushing each other for the fight. 
Well, Gerald, thank you for your time. In closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody that might be watching this? I know, come and support the boys and the, and the girl. And uh, just scrap at War Memorial. Number night. Let's be back. <laughs>